Hi, Mark Savage here and welcome to my channel. Today, well, it's exhaust day. Now, I'm doing it on my Dodge Ram, as beautiful as she is. And I'm going to be changing the whole centre part of the exhaust with this huge 80 inch, 3 inch pipe. And this important V, or Y connector they call them, 3 inch to 2 and a half. Now, if you have a look underneath. So this is what it sounds like now. And the crazy exhaust underneath. weird thing there. It goes along to the box. You can see this weld is leaking water, leaking water, open. Got a K there. And there's the back box bit. And here's the pipe and the Y pipe. Hangers, a couple of connectors I bought, paste. And that's all the tools you need. Grinding discs and cutting discs and a grinder. Cut the screwdrivers, cut the spanners. Realistically, this is everything I need. Not much really, is it? So this is what I'm trying to say. It's not a lot. 151 pound plus the metres, call it 165 pound in total. Now when I was phoning up some companies that are very vague and treated like you're full, I knew what I needed, I'd measured it. Um, and I was asking them like, bring it down, Average price, bring it down. When you start looking into it, five, six, maybe a thousand pounds, you're there, they cut it, and then they come up with this fictitious price. I ain't having that. So what we're doing today is what they call a muffler delete. And I'm saying that because it's America. We're just saying we're cutting out the box. Yeah, an exhaust box cut out, put a stripe pipe through it. I had a few options because it had that V bit on it. So I could have connected to there, which I didn't want to do. I had another option of maybe going this three to three inch Y pipe. So it would have gone into one, then into two, two three inch pipes way down, and then reducing it to three inch, two and a half into the back and over the back. I'm, I'm going to use the original over the back bit, the over the axle. That's where the money would have come in. I could have got some flexi pipes, they're cheap as chips. Didn't really want to do that. There's nothing wrong with the rear. Um, exhaust tips so leave them there so I'm just literally as it came out the three inch from the catalysts three inch all the way into the wire and then back out again that's why it's not gonna cost me a lot of money and it should make a difference from what you heard a little while ago uh, I just don't like the box I don't like that Y pipe I think it's putting pressure back into it I mean it makes sense doesn't it if you've got a Y pipe and an end to it which it was recently gases are gonna hit that build up and push back on the gases coming in yeah i mean you, you could get this scientific stuff and show the smoke coming in uh, if it's colored but that's what i think it's hitting it blowing back and then going down again causing disturbance the dms when it comes in and goes down to half it makes a funny noise i'm just getting rid of it all and then we're going to do this it's just a cut take off cut back on again because i'm an old fart now i will wear ear defenders little plugs and I'm going to wear glasses to stop this sparks and stuff going in my face which I wouldn't have done many years ago because I was stupid and hitting 50 this year I've been saying I'm nearly 50 for about four years <laughs> I've got a, a controller at work that keeps moaning at me saying you're not 50 well another couple of three months and I am so 50 this year here we go anyway that's all you need cut it off cut the two ends off now at the back box you might notice when I showed you the video it's in that much and they've made a mess at the end of welding because that's what they do. We use clamps over here in England. Slits, put them over the top, job done. Well, actual fact. Hmm. These were supposed to go over there, 64 in. <laughs> Just tight, but they'll go over. That's what we do here. Makes a lot more sense doing it, I think, anyway. Over in America, they just seem to weld them and it makes a mess, pigeon poo welding. I'm really not impressed with it at all. So I think this will do a much, much better job of it and that'll go on nicely, clamp them down, bit of exhaust, putty paste, and away we go. 
let's have a go at that. But I've got to cut the box and then grind this bit off and peel it off so I've got something to go on to. Let's get on with it. So after <clears throat> a little bit of rain and a few facefuls of hot burning stuff, <laughs> earplugs still in, it is off. And there's an old saying of measure twice, cut once. I like to think of it, measure about 40 times and then cut once. So I've measured it all. Have a look. What we're replacing, and that's the box. So working out that this is a slide over, good inch, measure this to that one. And then all the way down, using the hangers in the same place. Remember they're adjustable. And then we get to this part, which is the complicated part. So we're gonna to have to measure them from about there, I guess. So I've got to cut about there, fix it all up, and then marry it up, and then pop it on. But again, I'm gonna measure it, measure it, measure it, and measure it. Is there no bounds from any talents, I hear you ask? Okay, prep done. So I've worked out there's about an inch and a half there to go on. Bracket in the right place. Bracket in the right place. I'll cut off a small bit of pipe now. Having a file and one of these gauges is great. That's how much I had to take off, so I worked it out. And now they work out perfectly there. Um, I've got to go underneath now and cut off the bits of these. So I'm going to cut them in a V, four, and then file and then grind it and then pop them off and then grind them down so they'll fit in there. And the same with the bit in the engine bit, this will be just a little rubbing, grinding down and fit snugly in there. I connected this on with the assembly paste, it ain't going to go nowhere, I really had to whack it in. I was going to V it and put a bracket, but with them connected, all tight, shouldn't go nowhere. Someone ordered rain, which I wasn't ready for. A tea time, let it dry off a little bit. So I've got this side just to smooth them round, and that's job done. And I've got the two end bits, trim off, take them off, trim them round, slot on, push in, clamp, work out, start injured. <laughs> that sounds, sounds easy when you set that, doesn't it? Nowhere did it say it was going to hammer down today. It didn't. And here we have hammering down. Not funny. Now, I'm ready to go. It was easier for me just to unthread these and take them out. And there you go, nicely smoothed down. And two. Now, there's loads of life left in these, and if I'd have wanted these rebuilt, you know, these would have took bends, bends, 40 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree, 80 degree, you know what I mean? So that would have been a real pisser. And they probably wouldn't just have this and then marry it up, which ain't a bad thing. But again, nicely ground down at the bottom, and that will go in now. Ready to go on, I'll put some paste in there, one hanger, two hanger. And there we've got the end with one hanger, and I put another hanger on that one, and that should hold them all together. But it does sound nice. You wonder why my little tiny car's in here. Um, the brake indicator came on this morning to work, so I'm gonna leave it in here. I mean, the brakes on this are gonna be absolutely easy. It's not gonna be like the bloody Q2, which you can't do, unless you've got, you know, the right um, VGA software, I don't know. Some people said to me when I did that video, you can get uh, software from China. You know, 23 grand car, do you want some software from China going on there mucking about? I do not. So, good tip, worth that video, worth going to the local garage, 36 pounds, job done. It's not a happy face, and it's not because I haven't done the job. Um, there was a few little bugger bits, you know, um, where I haven't got the muffler on there anymore, or the box and I've had to drill the 
rubber grommet bits back further, the bushes, and then push them back over because it's not obviously fit for play for what I've done. Um, it's just I'm so sodding wet. I am wet through to my boxer shorts, wet through my shoulder. It just, it just hasn't stopped raining all day and I'm working on a soaking wet floor. And it's not funny. It really isn't funny. It's just it's not nice when you're sodding wet, you know? I reckon that's probably put me a good hour extra, you know, where I haven't wanted to go out and a cup of tea. I've been without it all the time, I haven't left. Um, I reckon it's been an easy an hour and a half, two hour job maybe, and it's took three because I've been twatting around. However, it is done. Now, I want some final adjustments. You know when you put a clamp on, you put the torch there and it's slightly down, so you'd have to undo that, undo a few clamps and push back up and then tighten it up. I've got a little bit of that, and I've got a little bit of a tiny leak um, where the pipes went in a little bit too far, so I've got to push them back out again. But have a quick look. So, there is a nice new pipe connected on, and there it goes all the way down the back. Getting water. See in there, it connects. I think they went a little bit too far than I'd liken it to, and I want to tidy it up. And obviously, the exhaust sit a little bit lower, and I think that one's slightly out than it was, you know. So I've just got to get that one there and move it up and in a little bit, and that will be done. Welcome. Here, as long as we show pictures of trees and speak in an accent, we can all be green and not a gas guzzling huge truck like I have. So continuing from yesterday's. No, I've got to stop it, okay. 5.7 V8. Just done the exhaust. Couldn't really do much yesterday because it wouldn't stop bloody raining. Climate change. Haha. <laughs> done my bit. Quick look underneath. Have a look what I've done. Start and listen. How's that? Um, <sighs> Clip, clip, all the way to the V piece or the Y piece, and then back over the back. It looks, well, a little bit measured than I probably would have likened. I mean, I had to put that stabiliser there, had to put a clip, had to put two there to stabilise it. I mean, one there, one there, and a clip up there. But it deletes the box, and for £160, not a bad job. So, for the part I've done that one, sorry. So, for the part I've been waiting for, let's look down the exhaust. Let's start her up and rev her. Remember, my one only revs to 4,000 revs when not in gear. When you floor it, it goes right up, but only revs to 4,000. Is that normal for these? I don't know. But just shows 160 pounds, you can make your truck sound an awful lot better, rather than five, six, seven hundred pound with a box and so on. I'm guessing if I change the tailpipes and so on, and maybe cut out the sides, it may be a lot different, but let's have a listen. VRXs and the cut down exhausts and big boxes that they sound deeper but they look like they're going nowhere they go whoop whoop and they go nowhere I mean losing brake horsepower back to brake pressure and there's no argument about that it needs it it doesn't need it I think it does so I find that when people put these massive exhausts on they sound great but they're losing brake horsepower just sounds good 
when you've got a 5.7 litre 360 brake horsepower, a little bit more of the can in, a little bit less with that. It doesn't make a blind bit of difference. What it does though is make it sound a lot nicer, go very, very nicely, and it's changing gear a lot, lot better. I said to the seller when I first got it, it had a little bit of hassle with this, that it wasn't changing into fifth gear, and it wasn't. When I put that little gap between that V, that weird thing, it was changing better gear. Now, oh, beautiful, and I don't like going really, really fast. So, 50 mile an hour, one, two, three, four, five, beautiful. And the DMS, which is the four cylinders, comes in perfectly now. So now let's see if I get improved miles per gallon, improved smiles, it sounds better, and all I've got to do now, which will be the next video upcoming, will be stripes down the bonnet, yellow, thick, thin, I'm gonna show you a video of that, stripes down the doors. I had to think a lot about this rumble bee, because it's not a rumble bee. We know 2004, 2005, SLT, Thunder, whatever. So, I'm thinking of just making that a plain yellow stripe. If you want to say hello, the last part of my normal is... <laughs> They're in this video whether they like it or not now. Anyway, and a big yellow strip down the back here that I'll go round the Dodge sign with as well. Job done, that'll be the next video. Please watch it, you should enjoy it. And I'll, you might get the... If I put decals on, decals, then anybody can. I'm getting the wet ones. There's two sorts, dry that have got like little holes in. I don't like them. Once they're on, they're on. When you do wet ones, you can spray them, put them on, and then push out all the bubbles and water. I like them a lot, lot better. That's what's gonna go on here. So, up that high. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves on the road. Please watch the rest of my videos. Bye-bye.